In our last video, we talked about a time when I tried really hard and it didn't help That's my That's basically thing. all of these. And this time, we're telling a story where I tried really hard and it made matters worse. There's a theme here, and it's that Harris tries really hard. And hey, Kenzie, it eventually Kenzie, worked in your favor, it so. Did. And it pays off in the end, but it really made the road bumpy. <laughs> Yeah, halfway through the last one, I it like something I don't know what it was, but it, like rung a bell. We were just saying that we have so many of these stories leading up to. And then I was like, oh yeah, and then there was the time I threw that surprise birthday for for you. <laughs> so this is the story of when Harris threw me a surprise birthday party. Timeline here. This is two months after the pitch perfect, pitch perfect thing, which was our last video, and about three months before the Valentine's thing. Like this wasn't like a couple months where this happened. This is like nine months of me trying really hard. Yeah. Not so, getting anywhere. So our pitch perfect, our first like date was I think like September, early September, and then my birthday is the end of our, of November. Uh, Harris asked me what I was doing for my birthday, and it's November twenty sixth, by the way. Yeah, and I said, I don't really know. Like my friends all have boyfriends, and they're super busy. They were in the thick of like college, like studying for midterms and like going home for Thanksgiving and it was just kind of a chaotic time I was like I think that my friends have like either forgotten or just like we haven't talked about any plans and that was not me in any way like plugging for him wanting no, to do anything I really just wasn't. was like I don't know don't think anything's happening no big deal though it's fine I'm so, just turning 21 so I started orchestrating <laughs> was it your tw it, wasn't it, your it was my 21st birthday because no, yes, we got married oh yeah right before you turned 22 yeah there's another timeline for you. So, um, <laughs> we, it was my 21st birthday, I was turning 21. Important, important note by the way, in, like, we don't drink. And so, 21st birthday is not, like, as big a deal as... But it's still, like, a milestone yeah. in life. Yeah, it is. Like, it's not like a, 21. You know, it's not like a 23rd birthday, but it's not, like, 21st birthday. Yeah. I had no plans. And Harris, so I, light bulb went off. I had gotten to know a couple of her friends, and I called up one, I called up Tyler. Call up Tyler is like, hey, I'm gonna throw Kenzie this party. I don't know anybody else. I put Tyler in charge of the balloons and the guest list, and I was gonna take care of everything else. I asked him to go out and get balloons, expecting like a room full of cheap balloons, and he went out and bought like three premium balloons. Yeah, like through like mylar. And like, like nice pulled them out of the car. I was like, what is this? Tyler, if you're watching this, we love you. <laughs> How did you even know Tyler? I don't even know. I don't remember. I like, never met Tyler because I remember I met him the first time that night. Yeah, I think I got it. I think I got it through Allie. Yeah, so weird. So like Allie was like, "Talk to Tyler." So let me like set the stage. Like a side note is that like we were like really close friends, but it was like my life and all of my best friends and my world, and then it was like you, very removed from all of that. Like you had never met any of my friends. My friends like vaguely knew of you and then I like worked with you and that you had tricked me onto one date and that was like all they knew about you. Yeah, and I then, had a really great reputation. And um. It's killing it. Yeah, and then so you like got a hold of like Tyler via my sister and then like he got a hold of my like friends. Fast forward to the day of like the party. I have no plans. My roommate Kelly was like, hey, let's just go do something. Let's go, like, let's just go out. Just like curl your hair, let's go do something. And I was like, okay. And she's like, I actually have something planned. And I was like, oh my gosh, she's the nicest roommate ever. Thanks, Kelly. And then so she blindfolds me, takes me down to her car. We drive around for 45 minutes with me like a blindfold on. <laughs> and I'm just sitting in the car with a blindfold. I'm like, are we there yet? Like, where are we going? Kelly was the best. I miss Kelly. <laughs> and then she takes me back, like, out of the car, guides me up like a few sets of stairs. And then we get to a door. She takes off the blindfold as the door opens and I'm back in my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> and he set up the party in my apartment. At this point in time, I had no idea. I thought Kelly did the party mm -hmm. or like my friends all did the party. And I look around the room, I'm shocked, I'm so happy. There are little tea candles that are lit everywhere. They're in uh, the shape of a 21 on your desk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they were like in the little shape. We got Martinelli's sparkling cider for the non-drinkers, for all of us. <laughs> and then um, a bunch of cupcakes from this really nice cupcake store nearby. And oh, yeah. then like all like my seven best friends, um, plus Tyler and his three balloons. And then Harris was just <laughs> <His> there. <three> <laughs> balloons. <laughs> and then just Harris was there. Like, yeah. it was kind of like a conglomeration. I, I will say it was a weird conglomeration of people because, like, you were there, Chris was there. Yeah. Um, like, his cousin. And it was just, like, a weird group of people that, like, 
Anybody that like knew me, I don't think would have put this group of people together, but I was still like, okay, cool. Went through the night, had some fun. I still like in the back of my mind wasn't really sure why Harris was there. I was like, how did he, did they invite him? And I totally thought my roommate had planned all of it. And I was like, thank you so much. This is so sweet. And she was like, oh, I didn't do this. And she's like smiling because she knows how I'm going to react. And she's like, Harris did all this. And I immediately, like, my whole attitude about the party changed. I was like, why? What is happening right now? And, like, it stopped being, like, a fun party and more of, like, an anxiety, like, ridden thing for me. Kenzie's because I was a like, super rational person, by the way. Not an emotional <laughs> no, person but, like, at all. you find out that a dude that you're not into throws you a surprise birthday party it like makes you feel uncomfortable i felt so uncomfortable i was like how i started putting pieces together i'm like how did he get a hold of all these people he has never met most of these people like what happened effort. and effort happened the party's winding down i pulled kelly aside when there's just a handful of people left and i was like whatever you do do not leave me alone with him <laughs> i'm so sorry but at this point i was like not like, you were still like one of my best friends, but I was like feeling weird about it. You just had done this out of like the blue, and I was like, did he not get the hint yeah, from the hand the holding? That's the point of a surprise no, party. But, like, They're supposed to come out of the blue. No, I know, but like, did you not get the point of the hand holding charade It was that like happened? two months later. But the, nothing had changed. You flirted with me so much. I flirted with everyone so much. I flirted with everyone. <laughs> There's something here. But I love you. Do you remember anything else from the party? Like anything? I else? remember I remember being also uncomfortable a little bit. I'm not a very social person. I knew one person there. Yeah. And so I was just kind of there quiet in the corner the whole time at the party that I threw for Kenzie. Oh, my heart, my heart, my heart. Oh. I'm pretty sure the night ended just kind of what's the word I'm looking for? Un uh, uneventfully. Like if Kelly, I said thank you. Oh, I'm sure you said thank you. You were always sweet. I just don't even remember. But I had I told Kelly not sure to leave Kelly me alone with you. Out. I don't think I like lingered, like trying to get you alone. You didn't. I, no, I think you I just didn't. wanted to get some time with you and you were with all your best friends, so I didn't get a lot of time with you. And um anyway, I eventually left and uh, we never spoke of it again. Oh. That's the end of the story. I hope these this don't depress is a short you guys. One. They should give you hope <laughs> and not make you think that I'm a horrible person. These, I'm painting these, by the way, these stories as how I saw them in the moment. Looking back, like, the sweetest thing in the whole world. I cannot believe you did that. You know what we need to do, though? You, like, went out and you, like, didn't you ask? I feel like you asked Allie what my favorite, like, cake flavor was. And you got, like... Oh, I'm sure you, I did. And, like, you got, like the best cupcakes like he didn't get like store-bought cupcakes he like went to the store and like ordered there was, like, cupcakes. a cupcake store here in utah I well, those there. exist everywhere oh do they yeah but they're more expensive they're like <laughs> they're like it's like three four bucks a cupcake and you had like a couple, couple dozen think, no no i got like six of them no you had at least 12. okay because i ate cupcakes for days after that okay <laughs> maybe i got 12. um anyways and i was just so sweet and you know, you know what we need to do to make the guys who are in my situation feel a little better? What? The next story we need to tell is the one when you tried to kiss me and I turned you down. Yeah. <laughs> that needs to be the next one. <laughs> Wait, I'm forgetting that one. Uh, when I finally started dating you. Know, oh! Oh, oh, yeah. Nope. We gotta tell that one. Because that this, next. guys, this whole You don't understand. Relationship... This is a buildup. Like... It eventually turns around in my favor, but you just need to know... We could make a movie out of our relationship. We should make a movie. <laughs> I'm sure every couple feels that way, but like it's like Ross and Rachel-esque of like just bad timing, not into it, and one person's into it, the other person's not. And then it and swaps then like, and one person's into the other yeah. person's moved on and... It just really, it really is cinematic honestly and mm -hmm. how this all happened <laughs> yeah and then like the final like the climax of the whole story really was a great one yeah like that's another story we got to tell like the night we started dating that's such a great one that's a good story for you it's not a good story for the other person no <laughs> um okay well that's the end of this story let me know uh what more what stories you guys want to hear because eventually we're gonna run out of these stories and we can start telling stories from our marriage 
which would be funny. Like and our we'll first, never, we'll never run out of those. Like our first fight, our first anniversary. I was gonna say our first anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, okay. Well, we love you guys and we will see you again next week. Bye! Bye.